All right, here we are. Uh, this is the stepping of Mighty Sparrow's Mass. Now, it's raining out, pretty crummy day, but we just hooked up the crane to the actual mast. I'm holding it there. My buddy Dave is helping me out. Now, Dave's going to go right onto the boat, and this is at eight times speed, but I'm going to walk it over nice and slow. Because we have it hooked up, it pretty much stays vertical, but you got to guide it. Now, I'm going to crawl up there on Mighty Sparrow, and we're going to place it up because we have to put the actual wiring for all the lights through a tiny little hole, which gave us a little bit of trouble uh, because there's multiple wires that all have to go down a teeny little tiny. Now, you'll notice that the mast is leaning forward a bit, and this is a bit of a screw-up on, uh, on our part, but... We're, we're a team, and uh, we do multiple masks pretty much every day, and we will sort it out. So I go down below, pull all the wires through, make sure that looks okay, and now I actually have to connect up one of the ground wires for the whole mass to work out. Now you can see the mass is still leaning pretty far forward, but we unhook everything, and I'm going to try and take back the backstay, but obviously it's a little too uh, leaned forward, so I've got to get the crane operator, Jim, to be able to sort it out. Now, he's able to do it with some serious skill. I'm undoing the turnbuckle as much as I can, but essentially, the way a boom works, uh, it's a little tricky. But I get the backstay on, then I put one on forward, and uh, then it's time to try and get some of the side stays sorted out because we're trying to get all four sides of the mass supported, and then Dave doesn't have to hold on to it because it's deck stepped mast makes it a little trickier than when they're keel stepped. And at this point, we're sort of yelling at each other and giving each other quite a bit of guff. Go out on the bow spirit. I've got the force day. Dave's taking care of the lowers. You can see how fast the eight times speed goes. But once we get the mast completely supported, then I can go ahead and uh, we can disconnect the crane. I want to get the second backstay on, but it's not essential at this point, so I just let that one go. Dave's definitely giving me quite a bit of guff at this point, saying that I'm not ready and uh, all sorts of stuff, but that's just all good and fun. So we go and check the backstay, and now I've got to actually go up to get the line off from around the spreaders. So once the crane is disconnected, which... The crane operator, Jim, has already done just by his own skill. Now I go up, crawl on up. You can see the crane coming down because the last thing I have to do is fly up there so I can put the instruments on. Dave wraps up that little line and just like a good little helper. <laughs> He'd kill me if he heard that. Uh, but I'm going to come back with the bosun's chair, put on my... Uh, two safeties and then I'm going to go all the way up the mast to the very very top to put the wind indicator on and at this point the mast is fully supported by itself it may look a little bit like it's leaning forward but I think that's just the angle I still have to tune the rig and do all that sort of stuff but that I typically leave for when I'm in the water now I pop right back down safe and sound and at this point it's time to go up and just hook up that second backstay so that i know the rig is good in case some bad weather comes in and do sort of a final check there's uh jim the travel or the operator there and he's uh we're just talking about how come uh, how come we didn't tell him that the mass was leaning so far forward? Because when you bring the boom in, it also drops the mass down, and we had already connected all those wires. But as a team, the three of us do this all the time, so it's never really any big deal. We just try to do it as best we can. That's stepping the mast on Mighty Sparrow. Absolutely love it. Dave brings down the ladder, and I go back up.